Hi there, my name's Daniel Kirk. I'm here to sing a song called Call the Cut. It's about that coveted prize that's the dream of every children's book illustrator awarded each year around this time. I'm here with my friend who wrote this song about his own experiences, hopes and dreams as an illustrator. Now, are you sure you don't want to give a shot at singing this song? Well, I'm kind of uh, camera shy and I don't think I'd be able to do it if I was there. Well, okay, I guess there's a lot of kids book illustrators that probably feel like you do, so I'll give it a try myself. Once again, this is called Call the Cut. I see you doodling through the sales meeting. Each time the boss speaks up, my head begins to throb. I just sit sketching little lemmings jumping off of a cliff. I've really got to find a more fulfilling job. Last night I read a picture book to my nephew. The golden sticker on the cover caught my eye. If I could only be a kid's book illustrator and win that prize, I'd be a happy guy. Call the cop, there's got to be a better way. But for now I'm not Just wait until the day I win you call the cats A year has passed now since I started my portfolio I quit my job and joined SCBWI I sent some samples off to publishers in NYC They haven't called me and I can't imagine why I thought that it would be so easy getting published It seems those editors must all be dumb on me I guess they just don't understand my special genius Because my drawings are the best I've ever seen Call the cot, somehow you seem so far away will be a million seller but for the call the cat that doesn't count for anything every night I work on my acceptance speech as of today I'm on the 97th draft I got no money but I'm thinking of a part-time job to pay the bills while I own my craft to win that prize is what I was born to do if those publishers would just throw me a bone but I can't answer when the call the committee calls If Verizon comes to disconnect my phone I wake up from a dream where I stand in the spotlight And Randolph call the cot steps up and slaps me five And Beatrix Potter's little bunnies prance across the stage And Maury Sendak and his wild things arrive they lift me up onto their shoulders and they march through town Then they toss me head first down a wishing well I can hear their laughter as I tumble to the bottom If you listen you may hear me yell Call a cot, why must you always be so cruel? Call a cot, why do you treat me like a fool? I'm gonna win the world's respect and buy a mansion and a yacht kind of depressing. <clears throat> this is the last verse of the song and it's just it's just kind of a downer. It would have been nice if you could have thought of a little more upbeat way to end it, you know, something more positive. You know, I actually did write another verse if you'd like to play it. It's a little more cheerful. You did? Okay, well let me see it. I'll give that one a shot. <clears throat> Can you hold it up a little closer? Okay, I guess this would be the happy ending to the story, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Well, I finally got a chance to show my talents. I got published and I do not mean to boast. But I can almost make a living with my titles in every Barnes and Noble store from coast to coast. So I left to get the phone that fateful morning. It was my landlord saying, time to pay up, son. But when the phone beeped, I said, sorry, man, I gotta go. And on the other line, a voice said, you just won. The call the cot, we think your book's by far the best. Call the cot, you'll fly to New York as our guest. Though I tried to be humble, it was all for naught. For I knew that I deserved to win the call. Thank you.